I've had numerous requests to install the AccuPath laser beam on a horizontal bandsaw. The AccuPath laser beam was actually designed for a vertical bandsaw. It's designed to mount above the top of the bandsaw blade to project the beam down the teeth of the bandsaw blade and then out horizontally onto the surface area where you'd be cutting. Uh, it really wasn't designed for a horizontal bandsaw. But because I've had so many requests over the past few years, I thought I'd go and set it up on my horizontal bandsaw to see if it could be used. So I actually set up two separate systems to try out two different applications to see if either one of these may have an application in your particular uh, area of uh, needs. So this first case I mounted the uh, AccuPath on top of the bandsaw blade, much like a vertical bandsaw. It's mounted with these magnets onto this metal uh, shield for the bandsaw blade. And then my on-off switch is mounted with Velcro right here on the side. And it projects the beam down the teeth of the bandsaw blade and then out horizontally onto the surface area of where you're going to be cutting. And that worked pretty good when it's used in this position. This was quite a, a job getting this aligned. Normally when I'm setting this up on a normal vertical bandsaw, everything's at 90 degrees. The AccuPath has several degrees of motion for setup and alignment. You can move it in and out, you can twist it up and down, and you can rotate the laser beam uh, to get it aligned. Now on top of that, with the uh, horizontal bandsaw, I have this cased at a 45 degree angle, which makes it even more difficult to install. It took me about 15 minutes to get this set up and aligned, but I was able to get it set up such that it projected the beam down the teeth of the bandsaw blade and then out horizontally right onto the work surface where I'd be cutting. So I was able to get it set up, but it was a chore getting this all aligned because of all of the uh, degrees of motion and this 45 degree angle complicating things even more. And this works pretty good. You know, projecting a beam onto the surface area where you're going to be cutting. And it works fine until you get down to about three, four inches away from your work area and then you can't see the beam anymore because the beam is being blocked. You do get a beam projecting the edge of the metal piece you're going to be cutting. So it can be used to project the beam onto the edge. And it is a safety device. If you see red, you know, your hand's not supposed to be there. I said it can be used as long as your bandsaw blade is you know, 8 or 10 inches above your work surface. You can use it for setup. And in my shop that will work quite nicely because I, I normally have to move my blade up and down uh, you know, 8 or 10 inches to, uh, for the piece of the material I'm cutting. So I can use it for initial setup and alignment. It's just that as it gets down close to the work surface, you lose your projection. With the exception of the side, you do get a side uh, projection. So when a bandsaw blade is above the work surface, you do get a projection onto the surface of your work, as you can see here. But as it gets lower and lower, you start losing that beam. But you do get a beam on the edge, exactly where you're cutting. So it can be used in an application if you want to see exactly on the edge where you're cutting. But to get it on the surface, the uh, only way you can see that is when it's you know 8 or 10 inches above the tabletop. For the second system, I mounted uh, a laser beam here, where it's actually parallel to the bandsaw blade from the back side. Let me lock this in position. And what I did is I mounted a piece of angle iron onto the column of the bandsaw blade. I actually drilled and tapped holes into the column and screwed this piece of angle iron in place. Then I have a piece of metal. It's about uh, eight inches long, about an inch wide, and it is uh, iron, so it's magnetic. So my AccuPath mounts on this uh, metal bar, and I can adjust it, you know, accordingly as I need it. <clears throat> and then, so I adjust this such that the, band, the laser beam projects onto the edge of the back edge of the uh, bandsaw blade, and projects the beam down perpendicular to your surface you're working on. The problem with this is the laser beam is projecting on the back edge of the blade, which is actually blocking it from hitting on the material you're cutting. As your bandsaw blade is getting closer to your work surface, the laser beam is projecting on the back edge of the blade, and actually you will see a shadow where you get a laser beam on both sides and a shadow in the middle where you're cutting. But that has limited application. What could, can be done is the laser beam could be moved in or out 
such as you're projecting just on the outside or inside edge of the bandsaw blade and it can be used in that scenario. In this case when the laser beam is projecting on the back edge of the bandsaw blade as you get closer to work you can actually see the projection where you have the beam on both sides and a shadow and a mark. In fact you actually can see the, the teeth of the blade with their shadows there. So that's kind of limited application because you really can't see a lot and, and the shadow is kind of weak. So it's really not a good application uh, for that. What can be done is to move the laser beam in or out so that it's on either the inside or the outside of the blade and then use that as a guide. So that would work. In other words, if, if the bandsaw blade was you know, inside, then you get a projection on the outside, and that would work. I'm producing this video due to the numerous inquiries I've had on installing the AccuPath on a horizontal bandsaw. As a result of those inquiries, I designed and tested two different installations of the AccuPath system on my horizontal bandsaw. Mounting the AccuPath on the top metal housing of the bandsaw was probably the most useful of the two installations. In this case, the AccuPath projects the beam down to the bandsaw blade, down its teeth, and onto the work surface. And that works fine until you get the blade close to the work surface. And then the uh, AccuPath laser beam is actually blocked. But you do get a laser beam on the edge of your piece being cut, which means you could uh, use it to uh, align your pieces being cut using that uh, edge marking. Mounting the AccuPath on the column for the bandsaw was not particularly useful since the laser beam projected the beam onto the back edge of the bandsaw blade and actually blocked the laser beam from projecting onto the work surface being cut. However, if you took that laser beam and moved it to the left or the right of the bandsaw blade slightly, that could be used as an indication point for cutting uh, using the laser system on the bandsaw. Now, either of these two installations on your particular model of bandsaw may require additional hardware, which you'll need to design and construct. The AccuPath comes with the a metal L bracket with magnets as shown at the beginning of this video. We don't provide additional hardware shown in the uh, second installation of this video. There are two additional YouTube videos listed on our website in the description section of this video. They describe the AccuPass this in more detail, its design, its installation, and its operation on a vertical type bandsaw. If you have additional questions or concerns, please give us a call or drop us an email. We'd be glad to hear from you. And once again, thank you for watching this video.